In this video, I'll be comparing the top VPNs to find out which VPN is the best VPN for Warzone. So let's start off with why do people use VPNs with Warzone? The most popular reason that people use VPNs when it comes to Warzone is so they can change their location from one country to another to get easier lobbies. For example, if you're playing in the US, you may have very difficult lobbies when you play Warzone, but you could then use a VPN to change your location to say Argentina, and then you would access easier lobbies that have a lower kill to death ratio, and therefore the game becomes easier, you win more, and it's easier to kill your opponents. But now, what's the issue with using a VPN on Warzone? Well, if you use a bad VPN or the majority of the free VPNs that you'll find on Google, they're going to give you a really high latency. So when you're actually playing the game, you're going to have tons of lag. You might even randomly disconnect a lot and it's just going to be difficult to play the game well. So it might actually counteract the benefit of using a VPN to connect to a location that has easier lobbies. So what we need is an extremely fast VPN that has really low latency so we can change the locations that we're playing in but we won't encounter any lag or increase in latency. So this would be my top three picks of VPNs to use for Warzone. The first would be Surfshark, the second would be ExpressVPN and the third would be NordVPN. I'm going to break down each one and show you how fast each one is and then you can make your own decision depending on how much money you actually want to pay because they do vary in price. As I own a VPN channel, I actually get a huge discount on these VPNs. It's actually the highest discount you can get on the majority of these VPN services. You can actually get some of these VPNs for as low as a dollar per month. All you need to do is click one of the links which are in the description and pick whichever VPN you want and that way you can get a huge discount and save the most amount of money. So the first VPN that I'm going to start off with is Surfshark and this would be my number one recommendation. The reason I recommend this VPN the most is because it actually is the cheapest on a per month basis compared to the other two VPNs. When it comes to speed, I was getting 707 down and 909 up on my home connection and I had a ping of 2. When I connected to the VPN and retested my speeds, I was getting 549 down and then I was getting 791 up with a ping of 4. So my latency and ping has barely increased at all. So if you use this VPN, it will be very quick and the speed drops that you experience are within a 10 to 25% speed drop range, which is what we expect with most VPN services. Alongside the quick speeds, Surfshark also has tons of locations that you can choose from pretty much any country that you would want to connect to to play Warzone and have easier lobbies is available on Surfshark. The next VPN that I would recommend is ExpressVPN. Now when I tested ExpressVPN I was getting 93 down and 94 up with a ping of 2. When I connected to the VPN and redid my speed test, I was getting 85 up, I was getting 88 down, and I was getting a ping of 5. So these results are very similar to Surfshark, again within the 10 to 25% speed drop range. My ping did increase by a, one more than Surfshark, but that's a very negligible difference. The only issue when it comes to ExpressVPN is that it is more expensive than Surfshark. But other than that, it offers a ton of locations and you can pretty much connect to any location. It's a very stable and fast VPN service. So depending on whether you want to spend slightly more, then you could go for ExpressVPN. But if you want to keep it cheaper while still having amazing speeds, I would go for Surfshark. So my third and final choice is NordVPN. NordVPN is another great VPN and when I did my speed test on Nord, I was getting 57 down and 79 up and a ping of 3 on my home connection and then once I connected to the VPN and redid my test, I was getting 56 down, 73 up and a ping of 6. So the speeds on NordVPN are fantastic and it is a very quick VPN. It also has tons of locations to choose from just like the other two VPNs that I mentioned. The only 
only downside similar to ExpressVPN is it is slightly more expensive, but if you have the budget, it is a great VPN. So that sums up my video on the best VPN for Warzone. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to check out any of the VPN services that I mentioned, then I recommend clicking any of the links down in the description and that will save you the most amount of money. Until next time, I hope you have a great day and remember to like and subscribe.